Module 6, Interaction Among Living Things At the end of this module, you should be able to describe some types of interaction among living organisms, enumerate examples for its kind of interactions among living organisms, and infer their beneficial interactions. For our short review, put check if the environmental condition affect the life cycle of organism among living things and cross if not. Okay, let's now check your answer. Number one, flood, check. Environmental calamities, check. Respiratory system, X. Ultraviolet rays, check. Five time, X. Drought, check. Water cycle, X. And atmospheric pressure, X. Did you get the correct answer? Okay. Now proceed to our next lesson. Living things constantly interact with their environment. Its kind of environment is made up of biotic and abiotic components that interact and depend on one another in different ways. The relationships and interactions of living things with one another and with their environment can have a beneficial and harmful effect. Such interactions among living things are visible to our environment. Here are the types of interaction or symbolic relationship that occur in an ecosystem. The first one is mutualism. Mutualism is a type of interaction in which one organism benefits from each other. This is also called symbiosis or give and take relationship. A butterfly, for example, a butterfly gets the nectar of the flower as its food. The flower pollinates as the butterfly feeds on the nectar. Another example is lichen and algae. The lichen that consists of fungus grows together with the algae. The photosynthesizing algae provide the food for the fungus while the algae get a place to live. Clownfish and anemone is another example of mutualism. The fish changes the way the animals would be predators with its territorial behavior, while the anemone protect the fish with its stinging cells. Bees and flowers also have a mutualistic relationship. The flowers need bees to pollinate them so their seed can be fertilized. Bees need flowers to make honey for their hives. Okay, now let us proceed to commensalism. Commensalism is an interaction that benefits one species and does not affect the other species at all. For example, while cattle gaze in fields, they unintentionally stir up insects that were resting in the grass. Cattle egrets benefits because cows help them find food. The cows are not benefited or harmed by the egrets. Next is orchid on a tree. Orchids attach themselves to the trunk of trees. The orchids make their own food and do not take anything from the trees. They simply use the trees for exposure to get the much needed sunlight. Another example is a bird nesting on a tree and oyster on a mangroves. Another type of interaction is predation. Predation is a type of interaction in which one organism called predator kills another organism called prey for food. A hawk is an example of predator. It kills chicken which is the prey for food. Another example is bear and salmon. Fox eating rabbit and spider catching insect for food. Okay, now let's proceed to parasitism. Parasitism is a type of interaction in which an organism called parasites gets its food from the body of another organism called host. The host is badly affected while the parasite feeds on its parts. 
a worm eats the leaves of the non-flowering plants until the leaves are consumed and the plant dies. Another is mosquito suckling blood. Aphid is a parasitic insect feed on the juice of the plants. Take on the dog's skin. Last one is competition. Competition is also called the survival of the fittest. The stronger organism is benefited while the weaker one is harmed or killed. Such as lion and buffalo. Rice plants compete against each other as they grow. Farmers plant them with proper spacing in paddy fields to reduce competition for the plants' needs so that they can grow more harvest. Now, let's check your understanding. Tell the type of interaction being performed by the following pairs of organisms. Aphids and rose plant. Right, parasitism. Lion and buffalo. Yes, competition. How about coral reefs and fishes? Very good, mutualism. Butterfly and flower. Excellent! Butterfly and flower is also mutualism. And the last one, birds and worms. Right, predation. Okay, that's all for today class. You may now answer your module. Enjoy learning!